Please do not come to my house and um, harass me. We don't know what you're doing. Um, so then part two is analyzing yourself. So just like you did characterization with Godless and Icarus, you're going to actually characterize yourself. And you're going to make a chart. The chart does not have to look like this. You can make it look any way you want as long as it has all this information on here. Okay? And if you have a hard time analyzing yourself, you can actually switch with somebody else. They can analyze you and you can analyze them. As long as this information is here, I don't care how you get it. So I'm just going to show you how I did it. So ways the character is revealed, my appearance. So you actually put your real appearance. I'm 5'5", five five, average in stature. My skin is brown. I wear my natural hair and locks. I dress neatly and professionally. I like to think. I can usually be seen with a smile on my face. So the traits I got from that, I'm optimistic and I'm confident. So then, your thoughts and your speech. On a daily basis, if somebody comes up to you, what can they hear you saying? What are you often thinking? So I put, I often speak words of encouragement to students. I make lots of jokes. I laugh a lot. I'm always thinking of ways to improve myself in my classroom, and I'm very opinionated. So the traits I got from that were enthusiastic, talkative, and humorous. My actions. I help students. I attend classes. I play musical instruments. I'm an avid reader. I have meaningful conversations, and I do lots of work. My traits, based on my actions, I'm talented, I'm intellectual, and I'm helpful. My motivation, why I do the things I do. I help students so that they will be prepared to succeed throughout and after high school. I play musical instruments to express myself, and attending classes allows me to further my education. My traits, I'm caring, I'm creative, I'm self-reliant, and I'm ambitious. And then lastly, what other people say or feel about me. Sometimes students say that I'm mean, other times they think I'm nice. My family is proud of me. My friends value my advice. Some people say I'm too opinionated, and some people say that I care too much. So based on this, my traits were that I'm moody, I'm mature, and I'm dependable. So you're going to be actually doing this based on real qualities that you have about yourself. Does anybody have questions about this? I'm sorry? Don't write anything you don't want to reveal to anybody else. Nobody will know if you, you know, keep something to yourself. Really? Yeah. A lot of people talk about people how would that be Honestly, um, when you do this, you have to be like that. When when you do this, you have to have a certain amount of vulnerability, but at the same time everybody has to respect where people are from and where people live. You have to respect each other for this to work. Yes. So we can use any house we live in? Um, the house we live in now. Yes. Um, okay. So the third part is a creative expression of yourself. So this third part, it can be a song, it can be a rap, it can be a poem, it can be a drawing that you take a picture of and you upload it on here. Um, as long as it's a creative expression of you, you could put it for part three. Yes. We gotta stay in front of that. It can be any song. It's gonna be a song that you write. So this is gonna be. Your creation, yes. It's okay. Um, hi. All right, so I'm just going to read my poem. I like the way strong women look. Their chests on tiptoes peeking over life's shelf. I want to know how it feels to be one of them, the elite, beneath neither fat or frail. Fat or frail. Muscles cling to every curve as if they're hugging hills. I want to rest on the hip of a strong woman. I want to rest there like she rests her hands, like she rests her child. I want to be her stride. Sing to me. Tap to me the rhythm of the way your hips move, gently and naturally like waves on shore. I can feel your warmth. You are a God sense. You are a glitter in the morning dew. One day I will be one of you. So this is a, it, an original poem. Thank you, guys. Appreciate um, that. And it's called Strong Women. And so you, you're going to have to do a poem, song, or rap, or picture that is a reflection of you, that you created. This is all you. So part four is actually going to be an essay. So don't be intimidated by the length of these paragraphs. I tend to overwrite. So you only need five to seven sentences per paragraph, but I just want to make sure that I have a really good example for you guys to see. Every paragraph is going to ask you a different question. So the first paragraph is asking you, what is identity? What is the American dream? And how do those two themes relate to the novel that we're reading? So my answers. The theme of identity and the American dream are displayed generously through the novel The House on Mango Street by Sandra Cisneros. Identity is determined by the characteristics which an individual encompasses as well as a part
qualities that make them who they are. A person's identity may affect their access to the American dream. For most American citizens, the American dream means being able to have certain possessions such as shelter and a car. It also means being able to provide for themselves as well as their families and loved ones. Esperanza, the main character in the novel, struggles with her access to the American dream because of her identity. She's a Hispanic young lady who is growing up in the ghettos of Chicago. Her chances of attaining the American dream are reduced due to the racism and socioeconomic class divide that exists within the American society. So this, this paragraph is all about identity and all about the American dream and how it ties into the novel. The second paragraph, it talks about your plot. So how do the events in your life make you who you are, and how do they, how are they included in your identity? So I'm not expecting you to write your whole life story. I'm expecting you to write one thing, one facet of your life that has made you who you are today. So here is my response. The events in my life relate to my identity because I'm a product of all the experiences that have led me to this current point. When I was a child, I was raised in an impoverished Muslim community. My lifestyle was extremely strict, and I was not allowed to listen to music, watch TV, or play outside with friends. Because I was so sheltered, I became an introverted person who rarely shared her feelings with others. When my parents divorced, a whole new world was opened up to me. I was exposed to the arts and attended public school, forcing me to socialize with other individuals. After being introduced to music, after being introduced to music, I had found a passion which I could use to express myself. Subsequently, I began to come out of my shell, and soon I had changed from a timid young girl to a charismatic young woman. I now appreciate the things I'm able to afford, and I do not take for granted the opportunities and experiences which have helped me grow into the person I am today. So one thing that happened in your life that has made you who you are today. This is all due February 21st. Um, so... The fourth paragraph is going to talk about the poem, song, rap, or picture. And you're basically describing what influences you had in writing that and what does it mean to you. So basically, you're describing that piece of creative um, writing. So here's what I wrote. The poem I wrote is a reflection of the goals I have set for myself. Oftentimes, I find myself admiring the strength of other women. The female gender is special mainly because without the womb of the mother, life would not continue to exist. Nature is even referred to as a mother, and I believe that it's very symbolic of the cyclical process of life and death. I believe that giving birth is one of the most beautiful things a woman can do. Being a mother takes a great deal of patience, maturity, and most of all, physical and mental strength. I'm currently working on making myself the best woman that I can be so that when it is time for me to be a mother, I'll provide my family with the highest caliber of womanhood possible. I will continue to gravitate towards strong women so that I may study their habits and use them in order to improve myself. So that's just describing that poem, rap, song, or picture. Last paragraph, how is this booklet a reflection of your identity? Oh, actually, excuse me, fourth paragraph, how, um, what do you need to do to get from your current home to your dream home? So the front cover of my ebook is a picture of the house which I currently reside in. In order for me to get from my current house to my dream house, I'll have to exercise a great deal of patience and keep my eye on the prize. Every decision I make will have to be a good one because my ultimate goal is to attain the American dream, and the American dream is seldom attained without hard work, persistence, and dedication. I'll have to make a lot of sacrifices and separate myself from people who are bringing me down so that I may reach my goals. In order to be the best woman and mother, I will need to provide my child with the opportunity to need it for their personal and academic success. I will have to study and work hard in order to continuously improve myself and become the best in my craft. I will need to be creative and innovative so that I may stand out against the crowd. I cannot afford to slack off or take a break for the welfare of my future family is at stake. Yes? Everyone's dream home is going to be different. Nobody's dream home is going to be the same. So you're just going to tell me what it's going to take for you to get from where you are now to where you want to be. Yes? You're going to make like a sacrifice. You have a lot of stuff written down. I did. it embodies all the characteristics which make up my identity. The character analysis chart provides me with concrete traits and skills which I can be proud of, but also shows me which things I need to work on in order to improve myself. My poem is an expression of my inward desires, values, and the goals which I have set for myself. Through analyzing
have an identity in the American dream in the novel, The House on Mango Street, I can see how literature can relate to problems that exist in the world today, and also how the process of characterization can point out the similar similarities and differences I have with characters in a piece of literature. Esperanza's journey is similar to mine because she found a way to express herself when there were no ears to listen. While she chose writing, I chose music. Her dream of living in the house on Mango Street is also similar to the dream I have to provide my family with the highest standard of living possible. Through analysis of this novel, I have found that setting goals and having dreams gives you something to work towards. And then lastly, you're going to put a picture of your dream house. So like I said, everyone's dream house is here. Um, Donald asked, what if I want to live in a condo? That's OK. Wherever you are now to wherever you want to be. So this is my dream house, and I chose this house because I want to be surrounded by nature. I want to be able to have a garden, plant my own fruits and vegetables. And you know, just live off the land rather than having to shop in a grocery store. That's that would be my dream home. Yeah. So that would be the last page in your booklet. Does anybody have questions? Do you have a pool? In my dream house? Yeah. Yes, in the bathroom. You just can't see it. <laughs> anybody have questions about this ebook? So this is just an example of how I want you to present it. So you will actually be creating this and presenting it for your final exam grade. And I'll, don't be intimidated by this. I'll help you. Every step of the way. Yeah, I'm just going to be on the second one for fire. This one. Mm -hmm. So you're going to do this one. Oh, I'm going to say that.